What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing? How y'all been? Shout out. What's really going on, everybody? Episode number 32. No Alliance. Checking in. Boys. What's going on? We took a what's little, took a little holiday. <laughs> so Henry put this in the doc, and then I did some research, and then I sent this stuff to Henry, and he was like, this shit was deeper than we even thought. Mm-hmm. Um, Henry sent uh, me an article about um, basically Louisiana's prison, prison system being compared to modern-day slavery. Some quick Googling, and then all of a sudden, it felt you like you got a lot. treasure trove yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So basically, we're going to break this down for y'all real quick. Um, so prison, prisoners at the Angola, Louisiana prison facility have refused to perform field labor, um, and the prison facility, for context, sits on a former slave plantation. Okay, caught in fire. Um, prisoners spend long hours doing manual labor, including harvesting and including harvesting produce. Recently, over 50 people refused to work, and that has resulted in confrontations with officers and some uh, prisoners even picking up injuries and confrontations with correctional officers. Once those prisoners are cleared by a prison doctor, they can legally be forced to work under threat of solitary confinement. The Angola prison requires prisoners to perform field labor for at least 90 days for, before performing other tasks, even only if they have like exemptional behavior. But if you don't, they still need a certain amount of people to you know work in. I don't. I hate to say the field, but they still, they still need a certain amount of people to perform the agricultural jobs. Yes, yeah, spade to spade. Interesting context, and I think this is when Henry and I were both kind of like, "What the hell is going on here?" Is that during the 1950s, 31 prisoners at the facility cut their Achilles tendons off in protest to the conditions. Um, organizers want to for, want to get rid of forced labor, which is permitted by the 13th Amendment, done by who Henry often talks about, Ava DuVernay. Find that on Netflix. Um, it abolishes slavery except as a punishment for a crime. This is also a heads up because prisoners are planning a protest on August 21st. Article is wolf- I, when I was reading this, I was like, is this a movie? Like, yeah. I, like is this some book? Like, but it's the truth of what's going on in America right now. That's uh, and America. that's why, like, when you think about the 13th Amendment and you think about slavery and the conversation about reparations and all of that, 13th memory didn't amendment did not abolish slavery because we like like it says Let the exception arrested. of as a punishment for crime. So it's basically saying if I lock you up, I can I can do yeah, whatever I want. Exactly. And um, clearly that's happening. Now, it, it's literally happening. They're not they're not getting paid for that work. Either. Not a, and that most and that's this. A lot of companies that are American owned or like made in America go through the process of like. Yeah, using these type of systems and it sucks because um, it's basically like sweatshops or whatever. Yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, with worse conditions. <laughs> so it's it's crazy that this is still. It's like what is this really going? That is this really is going? Bad, it's crazy. really. I, it was on the article was the on the appeal. Yeah, if you shout guys out, shout uh, out to them, they want to like check it out. Uh, so yeah. I mean, I think I just think it was crazy because remember the part where they're basically talking about how when the prison was first built, that they had the prisoners live in the former slave quarters, in the actual on the plantation, and you're like, what the Bro, hell? Bro, yeah, you cringed the whole, the whole time, time reading. Like when you're reading about how the prisoners are basically hurting themselves to prevent themselves from working, mm-hmm. and I think that this also gets to the fact that like I think we're. We're naturally getting to the point where we're talking about banning private prisons. This is a state-run prison. Right. <laughs> so right. I think I think we need to focus on prisons for profit, but we also just need to focus on prisons, prisons in, in general, general. <laughs> because this is happening under state-run officials. This is happening under state budgets that's allowing this stuff to happen. And I think it's great that the appeal flagged this up, and we're going to stay on it because I want to know what happens on August 21st. Right, so we're going to keep y'all on tour. 